I wonder what happens when that... What? Oh. Well, shit! Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back to Let's Play The Wind Waker, episode 20. My god, it's been so long since I've played this, I'm so very sorry for the long delay, but... I'm back and ready to play. Oh, hey Mario. How are you doing? Haven't talked to you in a while. I wonder if the regional postman has already come today. Huh. I wouldn't know. I haven't been, I haven't been watching the ma mailbox like I should be. Since we got that side quest last time, yeah. <laughs> Don't think I, like, remember what I actually did last time. The only reason I know that is because I actually, uh, went back and watched the last video before, it, before this recording. So I knew would know what the hell I was doing. And, as far as my knowledge goes, I'm doing side quests on Windfall, because I figured that would be a fun little diversion. Uh, so, what you want to do here, this switch, if you press it right now, it's actually not going to do anything. The windmill's going to, like, creak, like, one millimeter to the right and then one millimeter to the left. It's not really going to do jack shit for you. But, if you make the winds actually go into the sail by playing your winds requiem here... <laughs> I think it's, we're going to make, make it go north, because that's a south-facing sail. If I remember right. Uh, so make that go north. Right through the wall, conveniently enough. And now if you press it, it should, by the laws of physics, start a turning. And this is actually very important for things later on. Quite a few things, I might add. One of which I'm actually going to probably attend to right now, since I can. Ooh, oh yeah, that felt good, man. Felt real good, I feel alive. Alright, so, uh, if you want to now, if you want to do something with that windmill that we just opened up, actually, it's not a windmill, technically it's a ferris wheel, because windmills, don't they, like, provide power or something, I don't know. I really don't know what windmills are designed to do, like, I know, like, there's, like, the electric, like, high-tech windmills that do provide electricity, but I don't know, but what about the big old fat wooden ones? They just kind of scare me. Well, would you look at that, the ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder, <laughs> what's with your nose? I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who, who, who or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Yeah, I gotta keep it diversified up in here. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, would you go for a ride wave of the chance? Just jump in the gondola seats. Man, <laughs> the safest Ferris wheel ever. Oh, man, I could have had that. Man, it just pushes you way the hell back. Uh, so, yeah, you can take a ride. For some reason, I think... I thought that guy gave you a heart piece after that. I know he does give you a heart piece at some point. I just can't remember exactly what triggers it. It might be a uh, this up here when you can do something with that. But we can't do anything with that. I guess we can just check it out now, though. Because it's kind of cool, nice and rustic looking. Love the scenery. God, I love this game. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm so sorry because this is just a gr such a great game. I shouldn't have put it off for so long. What's this? Wielder of the flaming arrow, when you appear, the lighthouse signal shall return to light to the seas at night. The seer J. L. Pacall. J. L. Pacall. I don't know if he's ever mentioned anywhere else in like anything, Zelda or not. Zelda or not. But that's cool. It's cool if they just picked a random name like that. I see that guy dancing down there. Did I do that yet? I can hardly remember. Uh, I'm not going to chance it by playing it right now because that would probably ruin this. Alright, so when you get here, you can see that there's a little bit of balcony down there. And you just jump down to it. You can also use the Deku Leaf from the top, which I probably would have done because that would have been faster. But I actually don't have any magic. I don't know how that happened. But there you go. And this is the top floor bes behind the little screen wall of Lenzo's house. I got some goodies to grab here. <laughs> Where's Rob and this poor guy? Oh man, 50 rupees. Not too shabby. Mm, I'll, that'll probably do me some good, actually, because I spent all my rupees on that auction last time. Good lord. And this is our treasure chart! Yay! I think we've got a few of those that I still need to open. Oh. Uh, and I really wish you could skip that text. Like, you see it, like, 49 times in the game. Well, not totally 49, but... You get the picture. Speaking of pictures, uh... We're about to attend to something else while we're here, too. It just mirrors does this wood grain in this tunnel look really funky? It looks like rubber, like green rubber with a wood texture. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It actually like, looks pretty realistic now that I look at it, right? It looks kind of like damp wood. Alright, uh... Uh, 
Okay, guys, smile for the camera. <laughs> Surprise, you're on TMZ or something. I don't know. I don't watch those shows. Allow me to think. Ah, oh, yes, I first started searching for pictographs that recorded true beauty. Oh, about ten years ago. Man, 2002. How interesting. Aw, oh, who's there? I don't have my spectacles. I can't see that far. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> Were you trying to give me a heart attack? He doesn't look very stunned. Like, jeez, if this is Skyward Sword. Oh, what? I'll have you know, I've only come here to have him take a pictograph of my exceptional, beautiful skin. That's not weird at all. I've been a huge fan of pictographs for a long time now, so don't go taking this the wrong way. <laughs> is there any right way to take it, really? Hmm, and now that I think on it, just how did you get in here? Why, well, I never even noticed you. You kind of got a balcony, dude. You gotta protect that shit or something and get some, like, uh... I was gonna say Norton antivirus, but that doesn't really work for wooden doors, does it? And, uh, if you take this... Actually, I'll just show you... I'm not sure if I talked to these ladies yet before, but I'll talk to them now. You know that brick building at the top of the steps? Well, the gentleman who lives there has such class! Oh, I know! The mysterious pictographer Lenzo is so dreamy. Oh, he just makes me go a flutter. A flutter? Is that a real word? I thought it was like two. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. But do you think the rumors could be true? Is he actually devoted to someone special? Ooh. The lucky lady. Who could she be? Or he? I wish I wouldn't put it past them. I would, would somebody take a pictograph of them two together? You would die? Alright, well, here you go. Have fun. Do with that what you will. Oh, this is. Well, it's the pictographer Lenzo and that pictograph loving lady, the bitch. I guess we were completely wrong about Lenzo having a girl. What? This, if anything, this picture proves that he does. What are you. Did you oh. <laughs> oh my god, these girls, they're so freaking naive. Uh, you've taught us the error of our ways. I've put you on the straight and narrow now, yeah. Everybody, baby, pray to Jesus, Grandma. You got a treasure chart. Yay. Man, that's like two and one. Oh, well, two and ten minutes. That's not really that great, is it? Actually, it's not ten minutes because I'm going to cut out some of that crap at the beginning. Uh, what, did you, what did you say But you're not a little boy? Oh, I can't hear you anymore. And his girlfriend. Oh, so I can't talk to the fat one all of a sudden? He's not that fat, I guess. Uh, I'm going to delete this. Don't want to be. That'd be taking up space. Uh, what do I do now? Now you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably what I should have started this video with actually is a uh... okay yeah so that's gonna take a while to do actually I don't know if I have time I'll probably cut out most of this but we're gonna get started on that uh, pictograph side quest that Lenzo set us on last time actually I'm first I'm gonna open up these treasure charts just to make sure that I do because I'm always really bad about that hey number 18 my fave. Oh my god! Look, it's right at this island. I could go get that right now if I wanted to. Oh, I think I'll abstain now. That's a fairy island there. Man, we got another one. That is... Ooh, what is that? That's Mother and Child Isles, I think. That actually, it might be something else now that I think about it more. Anyways, um... So yeah, like Lenzo said before, if you remember that far back, if not, you can just go watch like, the end of the last video or something. Uh, unless you're watching this later on, in which case you probably just finished watching the last video, in case, so, this actually sounds really stupid, this whole video is gonna sound really stupid either way, but, uh, he talked about some dude who was sending love letters and, like, never getting a reply, and he was just so pitiable, like me, and, uh, he wanted us to get a picture of him sending a letter, so, I guess that, I guess that's just c common sense that you're supposed to, uh, stake out this post box here. I'm not sure if this is actually the best spot to be staking out the mail. This is where I always do it from. So, I figure it just makes sense this way. It, it gives you a nice crystal clear shot. I'm actually going to um, move back a tiny bit. So I can get a clear shot of the letter as it actually goes in. Because I was a bit, at a bit of an angle now. I, I think I've adjusted by, that angle by just about 2 degrees. But still, might make all the difference. you know. Okay, here we go. Here's the guy. It is Mario, isn't it? Does he have a letter in his hand? I can't tell. I no, he doesn't. But he is going to turn towards the mailbox, he's going to keel towards it. And this picture is actually really finicky to get, so I gotta be. Uh, I gotta get my fast reflexes going. Here we go. Are we ready? Oh! That might be it. Uh, take another one really fast. Okay, that's not gonna work, but I'm gonna save it anyways, just in case. Because he does that really fast. Like, you gotta take the picture basically 
not too soon, but it, the letter still has to be in his hand when the picture is taken. I think that's how it works. It has to be like right before it goes in, because he'll never actually get a picture of, of like his hand going into the mailbox. Of course, who sends mail that way, anyways? Mm. So hopefully one of these will work. Mm. But I'm not going to Vegas and betting on betting a hundred on like red. So here we go. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. <laughs> I emphasized finely instead of this. Jeez, I should not ridicule him though, for he reminds me of myself back in the in innocence of my youth. Uh, memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to be drinking tea out of a blue starred cup. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you passing on your first test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. What the hell are you going to use that for? I'm going to get rid of this uh, other one. This is just crap. Yeah, look at that. There's like a, there's like a lighting problem there and everything. Alright, let's talk to him again. Very well, my next... It, next is my second command. Really? I thought it was the fifth, because we skipped three somehow. Uh, or four. You must search this town for the t town's most cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirits. Flog his spirit? Dude, you're not back in, like, 1800s. You can talk like a normal person. I need you to cap... Well, maybe this is the 1800s. The instant of pure fear on this individual's face in a pictograph. So tell me, do you think you can complete this task, young sir? You know, in real life, that would actually be really hard, because, like, it's impossible to capture, or it's, it's not impossible, it's just hard to capture emotions, especially things like fear or love in pictures. In movies, it's a lot easier, because you have, like, motion, you can have, like, music and stuff to set the whole theme, but with a picture, it's that one still frame, you don't have anything to accompany it, really. Unless you set up some, like, elaborate, uh, display or something. Anyway, so I don't know exactly how you're supposed to know to do this. Uh, can I talk to you? Yeah, I can. Welcome! Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. Cool, what do you got? Um, is there a menu somewhere? Oh, look at that. There is a menu. What does this say? Uh, Deku nut soup, lawn lawn milk. Just the norm. 